Welcome to a lesson on adding signed fractions. When adding fractions with the same or like denominators, we keep the denominator the same and add the numerators, and then simplify if possible. So for negative eight-ninths plus five-ninths, notice how we have a common denominator. I usually rewrite this so that the negative is in the numerator, so negative eight over nine plus five over nine and again we have a common denominator, so the denominator stays the same. And then we add the numerators. And negative eight plus five is equal to negative three. So the sum is negative three ninths. But this does simplify because these two have a common factor of three. If we want to, we could show this as writing negative three as negative one times three and nine as three times three. So three over three simplifies to one and our sum is negative one-third. So in order to add fractions, we do have to have a common denominator. So if we have fractions with different or unlike denominators, the first step is going to be to find the least common multiple of the denominators. This is called the least common denominator, or LCD. Once we determine the LCD, we'll create equivalent fractions with that common denominator. And then once we have the common denominator, we will keep the denominator the same, and add the numerators, and then simplify if possible. So for negative one-fourth plus one-half, the first step is to determine the least common multiple of two and four, which is also the smallest number divisible by both four and two. Well, the LCD would be four. If we wanted to show this, we could list multiples of four and list multiples of two. Notice that four is the smallest common multiple that four and two share. So we want to write both of these fractions with the denominator of four. We'll notice the first fraction already has a denominator of four. And then for the second fraction, since two times two is equal to four, we'll multiply the denominator by two and the numerator. And multiplying by two over two is like multiplying by one. But now we have a common denominator of four so we have negative one-fourth plus two-fourths. And now that we have a common denominator, we can add. The denominator stays the same. And since negative one plus two is positive one, our sum is one-fourth. Let's take a look at some more examples. Here we have negative six-sevenths plus five-fourteenths. So we need to find the least common multiple of seven and fourteen, which is also the smallest number divisible by both fourteen and seven. So if we can look at this and tell the LCD is going to be equal to 14, that's great. If we can't, that's okay too. We can list multiples of seven and list multiples of 14. So if we count by sevens, we'll have seven, 14, 21, and so on. If we count by 14s, we have 14, 28, and so on. But notice how 14 is the smallest number the multiples have in common. So now I'll rewrite the first fraction with the denominator of 14. So we're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by two. This is going to give us negative twelve fourteenths plus five fourteenths. The denominator stays the same. And we add the numerators. Negative twelve plus five is equal to negative seven. And again, we're not done because seven and fourteen do share a common factor of seven. If we want, we can show this by writing negative seven as negative one times seven, 14 as two times seven, and there's the common factor of seven that simplifies to one. So our sum is negative one-half. Next, we have negative five-six plus negative one-eighth. First step is to determine the least common multiple of six and eight, which is the smallest number divisible by both six and eight. If we recognize this to be 24, again, that's great. If not, we can list multiples of six and list multiples of eight. So if we count by six, we have six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. If we count by eights, we have eight, 16, 24, 32, and so on. Notice how 24 is the least common multiple. And therefore, our LCD. 
So we'll have negative 5, 6 plus negative 1 over 8. And since 6 times 4 is equal to 24, multiply by 4 over 4. And since 8 times 3 is equal to 24, we'll multiply by 3 over 3. Notice how this is going to give us negative 20 twenty-fourths plus this will be negative 3 twenty-fourths. We have a common denominator. The denominator stays the same. And we add the numerators. Negative 20 plus negative 3 is negative 23. So we have negative 23 twenty-fourths, which does not simplify. Next we have 3 tenths plus negative 1 twenty-fifths. First step is to determine the least common multiple of 10 and 25, which is the smallest number divisible by both 10 and 25. That would be 50. But again, if we don't recognize this, we can list multiples of 10 and multiples of 25. So we'd have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. For 25, we'd have 25, 50, 75. And we can stop because notice both lists contain 50. So we're going to write both of these fractions with the denominator 50. So for 3 tenths, since 10 times 5 is 50, we'll multiply by 5 over 5. And then for negative 1 25th, since 25 times 2 is equal to 50, multiply the top and bottom by 2. So now we have 15 fiftieths plus negative 2 fiftieths. Denominator stays the same. And we have 15 plus negative 2, which is equal to 13, which doesn't simplify, and therefore this is our sum. In the last example, we have negative 3 plus negative 5 twelfths. To write negative 3 in fraction form, we can put this over 1. So if our denominator is 1 and 12, the least common denominator is going to be 12. So for negative 3 over 1, since 1 times 12 is equal to 12, we'll multiply the top and bottom by 12. Second fraction already has a denominator of 12. This will give us negative 36 twelfths plus negative 5 twelfths. And again, the denominator is 12, so it stays 12. And then we add the numerators. Negative 36 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 41. And again, there are no common factors here. Therefore, this is our sum in simplified form. There are other ways to find the LCD, but listing multiples like this will always work. I hope you found this helpful.